So let's get let's <laughs> let's jump in. So my goal for repurposing live events into on-demand content is just to make sure I get the most bang for my buck. And I want on-demand viewers to be able to find the most valuable content for them fast. So let's jump in. So once an event's actually over and is saved directly to my Vimeo account, I'll then open up our text-based editor to start removing the unnecessary bits. Normally at our events, we show a looping graphic at the beginning and then a thank you at the very end. So I'll go in and highlight what I don't want and delete it. I'll just go through and remove any long pauses. I can cut them out automatically here. And if I wanna be more meticulous, I can do that using this option, which lets me see what I've deleted and undelete stuff if I want. I normally don't really worry about removing filler words um, just because I quite like the live feel of events. So I'm not too fussed with it being overly polished um, and I'm a little bit more loose with editing. I'll change the name. I'll change the thumbnail. I'll add in chapters. Usually each of the speakers at an event gets their own individual chapter. Often I'll add lead gen forms, which are super handy to collect our hottest leads. And I usually set it up so that once someone enters their email address, then they're prompted to enter their first name and then their last name. I usually don't like to ask for more than that, just so viewers don't click away. Normally I do allow viewers to skip the form, we only want people who are interested. So when a viewer submits the form, it goes straight to our ops team and they can sync that with our sales software. And from there, we get them into our sales assisted email sequence where they can get in touch with the sales team and book demos. Sometimes instead of the form, I use an end screen and I'll choose the call to action option. This allows me to add a clickable button that pops up at the very end of the video. And I set it up so that when a viewer clicks, they are linked out to the actual sales contact form on our website. Now for the fun part, checking out how the on-demand video actually performed by looking at our analytics. I'll hit advanced report and choose the date I wanna look at. It's pretty typical to see a spike when the video first went live. And it's important to note that you can actually see both live views and on-demand views right in the same analytics dashboard. And then I like to check out how many on-demand views we got when we were running paid promotions and then cross-reference that with our sales dashboard. It's so cool to see the video views actually turning into sales opportunities and demos. And that's it. I think Yay. we got it. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys.